We have created this simple project demonstrating how Compose's outflow works. So let me just give you an overview of what this then go through the source code. In the backend, we have three main functions. The first one is check connection. This is to check the user's connection status. Next is get connection params. This is to get the parameters that are required to create a new connection. Next is create connection. This is to initiate a new connection. In check connection, we're passing the user ID and then the app name. And then we are checking whether this user or the entity is connected to that specific app or not. Here we are checking if the user is connected. If, if yes, then we are returning the authenticated status as true. If no, then we are returning the status as false. Next is get connection params. So in this function, we are passing the integration ID. Integration ID is basically a unique ID that is associated with new integration that you create. So this is going to return the expected parameters that a user need to fill in order to create a new connection. Next is create connection. Each integration might have different auth scheme. For example, OAuth 2 or API key. Here we're demonstrating both of these. Coming to OAuth 2. In this case, you can use the OAuth created by Composio by setting use Composio auth as true. Or you can use your own OAuth by passing in the client ID and the client secret. Since this is OAuth, you need to redirect the user to a specific URL, post the auth flow. This is how we can do it. Next is API key. In this case, user might have to specify some parameters in order to create a connection. And this is the way to pass them. Let's go to the web app and see it in action. Right now, this entity does not have any accounts associated with the Gmail integration nor the Shopify integration. Let me demonstrate how this works. Let's start with the Gmail. So Gmail is using OAuth 2. If you click on connect, it is going to redirect to us to sign in with Google page wherein we can select our account and then sign up. Now that I have an account that is associated with Gmail integration, the status has been changed to connected. How I'm checking this? Using the check connection function. Shopify uses API key. Let's see how this works. Since it's using API key, it expects certain parameters in order to create a connection. So in this case, it's admin API access token and the store subdomain. This need not be hard coded because we have a function called get connection params as previously explained. And this is how the response would be when you make a call to that function. The name of the parameter, the data type of the parameter, description, the display name, everything is managed on our end. Let me show you how this looks on our dashboard. Since we have created an account associated with the entity ID Jordan, this is the Gmail integration that I had created previously. This is the entity ID's name. This is the unique account ID. And there are some other helpful details.